that's the first row and this is the second row the number of tension that we will take equals the number of ropes we have the number of different ropes we have so in this problem we will take two tensions so let's call the tension acting on mass m1 is t1 now there are no other forces acting on it so we can write its equation as m1 g minus t1 equals m1 a1 I'm assuming that uh, the mass m1 is coming downwards now again for mass m2 we have the tension going upwards and since uh, it is another rope m2 is attached to no, rope number 2 so you'll take it at, as a different tension you'll say t2 the mass or the weight acting downwards m to g let us assume that this mass is coming down as well so we'll say m to g minus t2 equals m to a2 so this is our first equation and this is our second equation Now obviously we'll, we will not be able to solve it. That's because we've got four unknowns. T1, T2, A1, A2. We need two more equations to solve this problem. Now how to get those equations? The first thing about the pulleys that we assume is that the pulleys are massless. The pulleys are massless, that means they have no mass with them. Let us try to write down the free body diagram, uh, draw the free body diagram for pulley number 2, this pulley. We have this pulley here. There's a tension upwards. This tension is T1 because here the tension is T1. For the, there are two ropes. I mean uh, the same rope going twice over this pulley so we have T2 here and T2 here because it's the same rope so tensions must be same now if we write the free body diagram the equation from the free body diagram we will have 2T2 all the forces acting downwards minus all the forces acting upwards equals mass times acceleration however there is no mass the pulley doesn't have any mass so we just write a zero here so this gives us one relation between tensions so it says t1 is equal to twice of t2 so that's our third equation now we have found three equations we need one more equation the final equation that we will find is from the constraint relation. Let us draw this again. We had this pulley which is fixed, attached is a mass to this and attached is a pulley. This is attached to ground and here we have mass m2 now let us try to fix a point we take the point from the first pulley that is not moving that's our reference point now let us mark the distances let's say this distance is x1 at any time let's say this distance is x2 and let's say this distance complete one is x3 and this one is x4 now obviously in order to find this we have to write the constant relation we have got two ropes so we'll say x1 
plus x4 plus a certain amount of length which is uh, rolled over or here on the first pulley which is upon the first pulley let's call that L equals to a constant value same way we can write x3 for the second pulley we, this one we need to find this length first let's try to find this length this length would be x3 minus x4 plus the amount of length only this much because that's some length we are looking for this length is equal to x2 minus x4 x2 minus x4 plus L dash equals to constant from here we can eliminate x4 and we will get a new equation that will be twice of x1 plus x3 plus x2 plus certain amount of constants we are adding so we are writing it as another constant equal to 0 I've taken L L dash constant 1 constant 2 to and I've created another constant for these terms so finally you will get this equation after eliminating x4 from these two equations we have now if we differentiate this thing we get twice of and uh, because m1 was coming down mass 1 was coming down this was m1 this was m2 so since m1 is coming down x1 is increasing with time it is not decreasing it is increasing with time so therefore we will have twice of a1 I have differentiated it twice I have not put a negative sign because x1 is increasing with time plus if we take a look at x3 the distance x3 here is from the topmost pulley to the ground now x3 is never going to change because this end is fixed here point B let's call it point B this is fixed to the ground so x3 is actually not changing if you differentiate it it will just be a zero you can consider it to be another constant plus we have assumed that mass m2 is also coming down so x2 is also increasing with time we will write it as a2 plus a 0 for the constant so from here we have another relation as twice of a1 equals minus of a2 when you have this relation you will plug it in as it is that is with the sign positive or negative now we have four equations and we can solve it now for our accelerations a1 and a2 I hope the this is clear on how to solve constraint relations and how to solve Newton laws problems using constraints using tensions and the free bond diagrams first we draw the free bond diagrams then we write the equations using the free bond diagrams for all the masses you can assume the direction to be anywhere you can assume all mass masses go up you can assume all masses come down it's really not an issue after that you have to find certain relationships like we did in this case we found a relationship between the tensions we found a relationship between the accelerations the relationship between accelerations will be found out using the constraint relation and not by anything else